you know when you get the new machine and you have your software on your old machine and you want them installed on the new machine well this video we're going to help to install a lot of software all the software on your old machine who have who exist in the winget repository we're going to create a script in no time and when you run it on your new machine it will install those software and the latest version really easy and really cool and useful let's get started with that okay so we need a few things we need all the winget ids for the software that we have currently on this machine let's say this is my old machine and i want them to be installed on the new machine so we already know how to get this so let's get the id so we're going to start the terminal and i'm going to shift right click run as administrator not really needed and you know the drill i'm just going to clear the screen here so first we need to get all the IDs and we did that in the search video but uh, or the list video winget list but we'll do it again here. So we type winget list. If we just type that winget list, we're going to get all the software and we can only install with winget those who are the source from the winget. So I have a video where I uninstall a lot of software so I have a lot less now. Uh, but that's fine. You get the drill. So if we do winget list, we get too much. So we're going to pipe it. And there was a one for dash source, but it's a bug in the list. It doesn't work. So we, since we are in PowerShell here, we can pipe this and we can do where uh, object. And then we can do curly brackets. So we're going to go through each entry from this list. You saw the big list I have. Go through each entry and it's going to be dollar underscore. And each entry gonna match if it got win get in it that's enough so if we now run this the list should be looking a bit different but yeah now we got only those who exist for win get I'm gonna run it one more time and then pipe it to the clip the clipboard so we have it in our clipboard so we can start to build the script so now we have it in the clipboard and we're gonna let we're gonna use AI to create the installation script that was going to run on the new machine and install everything. So let's go to, we can use ChatGTP or Google uh, Gemini or anything. Uh, this one is good. I'm not even going to log in. So I just paste all these um, data that we have down here so we don't lose that. And, uh, and we need some more. So we're going to ask ChatGTPS to get all the IDs from here and then create one row for them to install. But what should we run? Well, what should the row be? Well, we want it to be winget install. And we have a video on that. If you follow along, you know this already. Um, so winget install and we want it to be totally silent. So we can copy these accept source agreement. If not, we might have to say yes to some of these. So I'm going to copy these two. Oops. So we can do an example. If one, let's say one row is going to be uh, Zoom, for example. So we want it to be winget install, then dash E for exact. You might remember that from each video before. Dash dash ID. This is going to be the ID. And ChatGTP is going to help us to add one row per the software that we just extracted with the winget list. But now as an example, let's do zoom. We want it silent. We don't want a lot of, um, lot of noise. And then we paste one of these. The accept package agreement. And the uh, accept. Oh, I have two package agreements, source agreements I wanted also. So this is how we want it, but we want this to be one per software. So I'm just going to install this one just to see that the command works. Hit download. And all it's silent. We don't get the pop up, you know, with the progress bar and everything. So it seems to work fine. So I'm going to copy this to ChatGTP um, so it have a template. So we can type something like, like this, uh, please uh, create the script with the template below for each entry. Uh, 
how do I get this? I'll, I'll put this in the video description, but this is the template. And instead of zoom, we put something like replace with, um, with ID here. So we want this line with Microsoft Office, Microsoft OneDrive, one for each. Please create it with the, with the line below for each entry with the data I'll give you at the end. Take the ID per line and, and add to the below. Huh. Let's see if it understands. I actually wrote this very bad, but it probably understood it. We'll see. It did understand it. Perfect. So now each line is one of software that I want on my new computer. Maybe certain stuff I don't want on my computer. So I'm going to copy all in this list here and I'm going to open up uh, Notepad. And I'm going to paste this. So there may be a few stuff that I don't want on my new machine. For example, all this uh, JAML, I'll remove them. This could probably be useful, but I remove this also. Um, up, let's. And the dev home, I've heard it from Microsoft, it's going away. Yeah, I, I un uninstalled a bit too much on my uh, uninstalled video, but I mean, usually, if you have a machine and you had it for a few years, you probably have a, a lot of rows here. But this by itself is would be enough to install on the machine. So we could save this as um, maybe not on my desktop. Um, I'll put it here on the install files. And it could be not the text file. We could call this uh, install all my software.cmd should work or PowerShell, but this looks more a CMD format. So now, now let's imagine that this is, um, oops, sorry, there. Let's imagine that this is my new machine, but I already have all these uh, software. So here comes the cool thing. So if I would just run, uh, install all my software, well, guess what? It's gonna install all my software. So it's going to run this, but it's going to say it's already installed, found an existing package already, obviously, because I'm running this on my old machine. But if this was on my new machine, then I would get all this uh, running installed. Yeah, of course, a lot of these are already installed. So I do a control C. Yes, we cancel it. So that's how easy it is to take all of your software you had on your old machine, well, if they exist in Winget, and a lot of software does, and run it on your new machine or your future new machines, you just keep update this list. So pretty cool, right? And very useful. We did that in about five minutes. Thank you very much for watching. In the next video, probably the last video in this Winget series, we're gonna create a remedition scripts that you can use in Microsoft Intune to basically check if uh, software is the latest or not. If it isn't, update. And you have that running and you never have to package that software again. See you in that video. Thank you very much.